our last segment is situational point play. Up next, serve wide and hit to the open court. In this drill, we're going to have the player serve from the baseline to a wide position. Here, Stefan is going to want to serve the ball out wide to the outside part of the court, which will then open up the rest of the court for him to hit his next shot. Don't worry about making mistakes. If you do miss your ground stroke or your volley, let's miss it out, just not in the net. Next, we're gonna serve from the service line and play. In this drill, we want Patrick to serve the ball from the service line. What we want to do is take some of the court away from Patrick and make it a little less threatening. We're shortening the court by putting him at the service line to start off. The idea is to get him to move forward after he serves each and every time. Moving back is not so good moving forward is the key. We're going to build on the previous drill, no matter if you have a full service motion or an abbreviated motion. Remember, we'd like to have a consistent serve and move forward, always looking to volley. Up next, we're going to serve and volley. Some of the keys to having a good serve and volley game would be a good toss and good point of contact as you move into the ball. Without a good toss, I'm not going to have a good serve. As we've done throughout this video, we're building on the previous drill. Patrick starts off at the baseline, good serve, and then he moves forward, hoping to hit the first volley just around the service line. Up next, return and attack. In this drill, you're going to be returning the ball and attacking, which means moving forward. Once again, we're building on previous drills, but this time we're just hitting the return and trying to move closer to the net. As we move forward, we're looking to volley the ball. Don't worry if you get passed or lobbed, Keep moving forward. Remember, this is practice. Watch how close you get to the net. You don't want to get caught up like a fish. Up next, we're going to return with slice. Here, Stefan is hitting the ball with slice. He wants to move his racket from high to low in a nice, long, smooth path. A slice shot can be hit offensively as well as defensively. When you hit a slice return, you're putting the ball low to your opponent, somewhere down around their feet. This forces him to hit up on the ball 
that allows you to hit an easier volley. As we've done earlier, we want to build on our previous drills to put together a complete game plan. I hope you find these rally drills fun and helpful, and remember you can do them with anyone. See you on the courts.